Good morning, family. Um, it's Saturday, January 14th, and I thought I'd just share a little video with y'all, kind of um, sharing uh, things that have been going on in my life recently, uh, partly in connection to the possibility of traveling this summer uh, to the East Coast. So I'm here in my living room. Uh, let me see, I can give you a little panning here. Um, it's been raining for like um, I don't know, like 180 years or something like that. Um, but we haven't been getting the California flooding rain. We've been just getting rain. Um, so we learned to take our walks in the periods between, uh, the, the rain periods. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm here in my living room with our two cats, one of whom's resting off some sort of, um, big animal fight, um, that he had like four nights ago. He, we woke up, uh, that morning to him being, somewhat bloody on our um, comforter. Um, so we took him to the vet and got him antibiotics and all that. So it's another 150 bucks down the drain, but um, he seems to be recovering. And yeah, so anyway, okay. So this is uh, David's life. Oh, and Tamara, she's in her office giving um, a voice dialogue session, which is kind of her um, modality that she does uh, professionally. That's, that's her thing. All right. Um, as for David, let's see. What can I say? Um, let me give a, a, a big, a bigger, well, wait, I'm not going to just start with my health because that's all I ever talk about um, half the time anyway with everybody. But yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Um, all things considered, I guess I have to say. Um, some of you may have read my little Facebook essay. We were all set to get a um, English cream golden retriever puppy about uh, two weeks ago, um, we had a drive over the Cascade Mountain Pass um, through the snow and right at near the top of the pass um, on our way to Bend, Oregon, which is about two and a half hours from here. That's where the, uh, the puppy breeder um, is. Um, Tamara sprung a nosebleed that wouldn't stop. Um, she was about 10 days post sinus surgery, so we had to get her to the ER and we couldn't get the dog. So... Um, we're waiting on that for maybe a couple more months. And my mother, Vicki, has been living next door for almost two years now. Um, and that's been working out really well. Um, well, it's been working out well um, because of all the COVID restrictions, which I'll be talking about shortly. Um, she hasn't been able to get out to meet people the way she normally would. So that's a little tough. But we have our little family unit um, out here between me and Tam and and my mom. So I think that's better for her now. Uh, she's about to turn 84 um, than living not near um, one of her kids. All right. So let's see. Uh, David and COVID and um, liver tubes and traveling next summer, this coming summer. Um, the bigger picture around COVID, as I'm, I know some of you know, maybe all of you, is that um, because of the medications I take uh, for my liver, the liver John um, so graciously uh, gave to me, um, those drugs are built to basically um, defeat um, immune response. That's what they do, so my body won't attack my liver. Unfortunately, that same mechanism basically defeats the way the, the COVID vaccines work. In other words, the vaccines try to create immunity and then my medications are like slamming them down as they're creating it. So the upshot is it's as if I've never been vaccinated. Um, I was part of a big John Hopkins study about it um, and we actually had our antibodies measured and um, about half of us who take the uh, medications I take um, aren't able to generate uh, antibodies to COVID. So that's one. And the other aspect of, of that area for me is that because of all my um, health history, um, including some current stuff going on, um, getting COVID could be um, much more dangerous to me than it would be for the average person. Although with uh, some of the treatments available now, like Paxlovid, which is the antiviral, um, it's, it's more possible that if I get COVID, I would come through it relatively okay. So those are some of the variables um, I'm dealing with, um, me and Tam and my Vicky are dealing with, because 
they've basically been as careful as I am on my behalf um, since COVID started. And um, we're basically still living pretty isolated, except when we have to go into um, to, uh, buildings and enclosed spaces, and then we're always uh, double masked. Um, and so far, none of us have gotten COVID, um, or quite frankly, almost any other cold or flu or anything, um, probably because we're being masked all the time. So uh, it's all it's been three years, uh, almost obviously with COVID. So I'm starting to think about and strategize the possibility of, for instance, getting on an airplane, um, coming back east, uh, seeing you all, um, let alone just seeing friends indoors uh, where we live here in Corvallis. And that's a big variable, um, an unknown thing. And I will be thinking about that um, much more so as the summer rolls around. Um, and on top of that, uh, again, most of you know, um, because, uh, you know, I had that liver transplant back in 2006. And um, such major surgeries often um, down the line, um, there's some complications. And for me, about three years ago, um, my liver numbers started skewing off. Um, once again, uh, really for the first time in, in like 15 years, basically. And, um, and then on top of that, weirdly enough, right after I got my first COVID vaccine, about literally 10 days after, they started skewing off even more. So it's possible that the vaccine provoked some kind of reaction in me, but either way, it doesn't really matter. The upshot is um, they found my central bile duct, um, which runs through my liver, was um, getting blocked up, probably just from, uh, you know, scarification and adhesions and all the stuff that can set in over time once an area has been chopped up and diced into. And um, for about two years, um, things were kind of getting slowly worse. I was starting to get um, infections, and we had to do what we're doing now, which is to put a tube um, through my side, um, through my liver, and basically um, into the, the area that's uh, blocked um, to try to kind of forge a tunnel through it more, more or less with this, um, well, basically with this tubing and the tubing, um, unfortunately, extends out my side and um, I kind of tape up the terminal part of the tubing to my abdomen here. And um, anyway, long story sort of short, um, come mid late June, um, we're going to look, um, take a look, and they may um, withdraw the tube um, it, and hope that the opening, that, it, that its forge will stay open without it being in. So that's a whole other level of uncertainty, um, how I'm going to respond to that. Um, and if I do respond well, how long will it be before they say, okay, this looks pretty good, um, you're probably going to be stable um, for some indefinite period, hopefully years and years. Um, um, onward. So between these two situations, um, my ability to make uh, certain travel plans um, for the summer is still really um, uh, diminished. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of put that on the table for everybody. Um, and um, yeah, I'm going to really, I really would love to get um, back east. I haven't seen anybody, obviously. Um, for um, a few years now, um, and I'd really like to do it. I'd like to get to the ocean. Um, the oceans out here are way, way too cold for me, and I'd love to get to the Jersey Shore um, sometime this summer. Um, if not July, then at least uh, August or September. And yeah, that's, that's the nuts and bolts of my nuts and bolts. Um, I'm in less pain uh, than I was uh, about a month or two ago, certainly. I was very painful, um, and now it's somewhat painful. Um, they had to go between my ribs this time. Last time they went under my ribs. This time they had to go between my ribs with the tubing, and apparently when they go between your, your ribs, the discomfort never quite goes away. So um, I'm kind of managing that, but um, at least things are becoming... Um, a little more open for me. Um, and the next five months will just hopefully go relatively smoothly. <clears throat> That's it. There's more stuff in my life, although I have to admit, not a ton of other stuff. Things have been kind of concentrated the last couple months, but 
I'm hoping to get back to taking uh, my longer walks and, um, you know, playing piano and doing my essays, of course, um, often writing. And yeah, that's mostly my world these days. Tam's doing well, um, finally healing from that sinus surgery. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, feel free to write back if you'd like. I'm going to put this up on my YouTube channel so I can compress the video and send it out to you all. And that's it. There's nothing, not a lot more to say. Uh, my life is, is pretty pared down these days. Um, and since I'm at least half a, a, a monk, um, it probably works for me better than it would for a lot of people. Um, I enjoy getting updates um, from everybody, especially around the um, nieces and nephews and all their adventures. And yeah, I love you all. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you soon. Ciao.